Hi guys and welcome to Dave's Supercars and uh, as you can see my car is on the truck about to go to ARM so that they can take off the two carbon fibre bits, the side skirt and the air scoop so I can bring them over to Kush Carbon which is the name of the company that are going to do my carbon fibre work. So uh, I'll let him get on and then I'll follow them over to ARM in a little bit where I will collect the parts and bring them over to Kush. So meet me then. As you can see, all strapped down tightly. I didn't put it in gear uh, just in case when they take it off or to start it that uh, they might start it in gear and drive forward. We don't want that. So it's secure enough. Handbrake is on at the back. That's the handbrake there. Brembo brake, handbrake at the back. So nice and secure. That's how you get a supercar on a recovery truck. So this one is obviously, you can just drive on onto it normally and then it goes up like that. So you're not scraping anything. Awesome. And there it goes. See you later. All right, so here we are at uh, ARM. So we're inside uh, ARM. There's the car behind me. So they've taken off the uh, side skirt and the scoop off this side so uh, I can bring it over to Kush Carbon so they can fix the side skirt and make a copy of the air scoop for the far side. So that's it there. Uh, do you prefer it without or you like the carbon fiber? I know some of you probably like it without original and uh, other people like a bit of carbon fiber. I'm of two opinions. I don't know which way to go, but it's on it. It meant to add value, which is quite a lot of carbon fiber. So uh, that's why I'm getting it fixed. Right, so that's the bit. Yeah, take it off. Yeah. So that's what it looks like. It's just glued on, simple. A little bit of crack there as well, so I might fix that. We shall see. Now look what we found inside as well. Awesome. Uh, a lovely Testarossa. Oh, just one of my favorites. Absolutely love it. It is pristine. It's absolutely immaculate. Uh, manual gated shift. Oh man, this, this is just a, a great car. That is awesome. Yeah. I love that. Wow. Unbelievable. And now another pin up. Uh, supercar, the Lamborghini Diablo. What a machine, I, I absolutely love it. All right, so here we are at Kush Carbon and uh, let's go in and give the two pieces to Karen. All right, here with Karen from uh, Kush Carbon and he's gonna set out my carbon fiber. Gonna, gonna uh, duplicate this part for the other side, yep. which is missing off this car and we're gonna fix up this side skirt, which is also cracked and uh, yeah. We don't do a good job then and uh, so how are you going to uh, mold this how are you going to make a copy of it is there a special basically, procedure basically what we're going to do is we'll uh, we're going to make a part out of foam which uh, i can show you some bit uh, okay it's a course as the foam which will duplicate we've got to make a mirror part of this and then we'll pull a mold off of that yeah that will be a plug and then we'll get the carbon on that okay yeah so, yeah so we get a new part and um, yeah Cool. Yeah. And you're saying this is from Aston Martin in uh, Dubai. Dubai? Yeah. yeah. It's a with a couple of uh, bonnet vents for a couple of uh, Aston Martin vents. Okay, so that's a bonnet vent. Yeah. Nice. And, um, cool. And then you're saying these here, these are parts of the interior which are wrapped. 911, yeah. Yeah, off a 911. So. That's quite an easy process, I imagine. Yeah, like yeah. relatively, I mean, yeah, compared to, compared to <laughs> yeah, yeah, compared to making the part, wrapping it, um, yeah. I suppose it's it's a lot cheaper as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. It looks good. I mean, uh, I I didn't know that you could um, customize carbon fiber that easy. You no, know, because it's a very versatile. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. All right, so it comes as a fiber, yeah, a cloth. These are cloths, basically, and you get them in different weaves. This one, quite soft. Yeah. I always imagine cab fibers being quite hard. That's, so that's, that, that, that's the resin. The resin, after the resin yeah. yeah. So um, this would be the one we use in Yorka, which is a twill. Yeah. That is the one that's on the line 11, which is a plain weave. Ah, okay. So we need to do that for the weave without the stuff. Yeah, do you see the difference? Yeah, that's like, they're like squared, mm -hmm. whereas this is a kind of st yeah. stang st staggered, kind yeah, of more rectangular. at an angle and those are yeah. straight. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. So, so you make the part out of, um, you make the part out of like plastic and then you wrap it. Um, depends. So your part would be out of foam. Foam. We'd have to you'd have to make the shape out of foam, yep. get the correct shape to match them both up, and then we that'd be a plug, and then from that we'd make a fiberglass mold, and then we'd laminate carbon fiber inside the mold and get a. Product. Okay, so it's made out of fiberglass and then it's wrapped in the carbon. No, no, just no? the mold's carbon fiber. The entire part's carbon. Okay. The, the, the mold the molds are fiberglass. Yeah. Which are. All those, everything you see okay. on that rack are all molds we'll, for different we'll things. Yeah. Right. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll, we'll have a look. Those are all molds. Yeah. And um, we laminate the carbon fiber into the mold. Yeah. Let it cure, and then you get your part out of Okay. Learn something new every day. <laughs> carbon fiber to me, it's it's um, it's a it's a hard, tough material, but it's brittle. It's a bit like glass. It's really tough. No, 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 but, no. It's, it's actually pretty strong. Um, I think. Uh, there you go. There's my there's my knowledge of carbon I fiber. Think pound for pound, <laughs> it's stronger than steel. So that is about yeah. 25 layers over there. Right. It's a 380 wing. Have to, yeah. yeah. That's it. It's like a wing of a 380 or 787. Good. Yeah. Um, no, this is actually quite. <laughs> We've got some pretty thick plates of carbon fiber. Yeah, you know. Oh. Okay. So that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like steel straight away. Yeah. I'm not sure about how many layers this is, but yeah. Okay. This, this was uh, used for, you know, Jetman? Sorry? Jetman, you know the guys? Oh, Jetman, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we've made the winglets for their wings. Those are carbon fiber, and uh, we did a custom uh, harness All right. for one of the guys. So there you go, Jetman flies because of Karen and Kush Carbon. <laughs> Yeah, that's more so they have, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very good. Have you done stuff on Lamborghinis before? Um, we actually have, yeah. we did, uh, uh, it was uh, Ventador in 2014. Yeah. And he got all his exterior parts wrapped in carbon. All oh, right. Made, the wrap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and that's the fiberglass they're going to make the molds out of, yeah. And this guy here, that's a mold. No, that's a part. That's, that's a part. part, is it? Okay. Glass, so you're just smoothing it off. Yeah. yeah. That, that'd be ready for paint. And what's, what's that part? That's for you know? so the company. Uh, one of our customers, they make armored vehicles, tank vehicles. Oh, yeah. They sell them all over the world. So they have their own design of door panels for the inside. Okay. And it's a very barren sort of material. Yeah. Ah, yeah. That's the door panel. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's your speaker. Door handle. Yeah. They have different versions of that. They even have a copy fiber version which they use for their iron. Okay. Wow. Awesome. Learning a lot. <laughs> which basically helps compress uh, all the resin and pull the part closer together. So that's our process. We use vacuum bags. Vacuum bags. Yeah. yeah. And then the pre prepared carbon fiber actually works in an oven. That needs to go into uh, what yeah. usually a uh, uh, works with. But it's, uh, Autoclave, which is a gigantic pressurized oven, but we can't afford an autoclave right now. So we've got we've got the small oven, which is yeah, and that's a big oven over there. Yeah, so that's the bigger part. Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, spraying a car it needs to be baked. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's the curing cycle. Cure, it's, yeah. yeah. 
Is this is this gonna be carbon fiber? Does that no, uh, this is just a repair? Actually. Just a repair. Okay. Yeah, for, for, uh, like, okay. Yeah. Those cracks. So this is small repair. Yeah. Excellent. So you can see here. That's the crack. It is attached with bolts. A little bit grubby, but uh, it's been on the car for a while. That's the part. See, this is cracked there as well. So again, they're gonna gonna fix all this. Happens is um, if you see, it's got a little yellow. Yeah. 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 So that happens with yellow. exposure to sun. Um, the resin starts to go yellow. This is a uh, well, it's not freshly painted, but it's a new part. So you yeah. see, it's, it's clear, yeah, it's clear. So we'd have to probably wrap the whole, we have to spray the whole thing down, probably have to put a new layer of carbon on the whole side scope. All right. Anything visible will have to be uh, covered and then with a new layer of uh, um, clear coat on top. So you can really see the difference here. Yeah. Because this is, yeah, the sun's probably been doing yeah. this longer. Yeah. Yeah. Even then, we'll probably give this a new coat of paint as well, so yeah. they both match. Them. Yeah, perfect. Cool. So, yeah, so it'll be at, at least a week. Yeah, at least a week for this. Yeah, that's going to be longer because we'll have to get the shape right, make okay. sure they match. Yeah, make sure they both look identical, but mirror images, and then. Uh, okay. Once we're happy, you're happy. We'll give you. I'll send you pictures if you want to stop by. Yeah. Look. Excellent. Nice. What do you think, Kieran? <laughs> now you know how carbon fiber is made and you can fix it, which is excellent. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right, Karen, nice. thanks very much. Thank very For much. all your carbon needs, come to Karen at Kush Carbon. There you go. Where'd you get the name from? It's uh, something. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So you've seen how it's made. We come back in a week or so. Hopefully it's all done to see the finished parts. Just got back from Kush Carbon. Uh, we met Karen, very nice guy there. Showed us how he makes and repairs uh, carbon fiber. Uh, very interesting process. Definitely learned a lot because I really didn't know how they made it before. So that's good. It's going to take over a week for my parts to be made um obviously if you're doing like plastic if you're putting that in carbon fiber it's a lot quicker but with my kind of parts it obviously takes a lot more uh, time and effort so that's why it's going to take uh, at least a week but it'll be done correct i'm sure um yeah really good to see how it's made so uh very interesting i hope you learned something as well if you want to see the finished outcome Please uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and we'll catch you all next week. Until then, take care.